Coach Agum. Aloha. Aloha. How is the uh, the experience so far for the Golden Gophers? That's been good. Um, you know, we flew in here a couple days ago. We got in um, in the evening. The guys got off the plane. Um, beautiful weather. They got to run on the beach, ran down by the ocean, got a good workout in. And um, um, I know they've enjoyed it. Yesterday we spent a little bit of time. Guys worked out a little bit again. We got on some mats. Um, guys are just working on getting their weight down. <clears throat> we brought a few extra guys here to wrestle. Um, Chris Dardanes will be wrestling uh, this week um, in this tournament. Uh, we gave Nick this weekend off, um, so he won't be wrestling at 41. But uh, other than that, we should have pretty much the full lineup in here. Um, guys are doing well. We're excited. Tomorrow we're going to compete. We get to wrestle with uh, Oregon State and Oklahoma and American. And, and there will be a round robin tournament where guys will get some multiple matches. So it's a good thing. So it doesn't go just on wins and losses. Everybody at, it, at the weight class will wrestle everybody. And, and so it'll be fun. And we brought a few, a um, couple extra guys that are wrestle. Um, we don't have Sam Brand Kale wrestling at 125 for us. He uh, hurt his shoulder um, right before the Northwestern duel. And so uh, we brought Jordan Bremer at 25. Um, we got a handful of guys competing out at the Midlands and stuff as well. But um, it'll be good to see some of those other guys get a chance to wrestle, and, and hopefully they'll show us some good things. So. You know, look at this. This is a you know a great opportunity for you guys to get out of the frozen tundra. You know, right now, uh, you know, getting here and, and and the mat room is the mat room any different in McKinley High School behind us as it is in uh, you know Minneapolis right now? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a, a little room up there. It was pretty cool. The high school team came in, and a lot of them were watching our guys. I mean, it's it's you know it's a wrestling room. It's got mats, and um, they were soft, and the guys rolled around. So um, besides colors and stuff, and maybe the size of the room, it's. It's uh, no different. The guys are getting up there. They'll get after it. We're going to come back at four. Some of our other guys that wanted to wrestle later in the day will get on the mat. They'll have the venue rolled out, I think, later today around 2 o'clock. And so then our guys will wrestle right inside the mats where, where we'll be competing in the morning. So, uh, you know, nothing changes. you got a wrestling room, and guys can work out and get after it, and that's, that's all good. So um, weather here is awesome, as you mentioned. That's the one big thing for our guys being from Minnesota and stuff. It's Somebody said it's like two degrees in Minneapolis right now, so what a temperature change. And, and that was kind of part of the reason we wanted to come out here is um, do something really cool around Christmas time and uh, get the guys some warm weather and do something fun and, and uh, let them, you know, travel and see part of the country. And, and it's a good experience. You know, the season's such a grind. I mean, in 10 days, you guys are going to be in the Big Ten dual meet schedule. And, it, and you're, you're in it already. You know, you wrestled Northwestern, as you mentioned. But, you know, you, you look at that. And the guys kind of almost getting a breath, you know, getting a breath, getting a little change of pace with Hawaii. How good is that for them to, to, to get out here and maybe not grind against big time guys and, and change pace a little bit? How, how is that for you guys? Oh, it's really great. I mean, like you said, it's good one. We're wrestling guys outside our conference, which you don't get to see a lot. So that's good um, from that sense. And then getting out here and doing something in warm weather like this and seeing Hawaii and and uh, some of the family members have been out here and it's just a different experience. I mean, that's cool. You know, it takes their mind off the season. Like you said, it's, it's, um, it's business tomorrow when they wrestle and when we're training is business, but we told those guys in between that, we want them to enjoy it a little bit. Um, after the tournament's over, we're gonna stay here and train a little bit with, uh, with the other teams here and maybe get some um, time to spend some time with our coaching staff and learn and do some different things there, which I think is pretty cool. But um, they're gonna do some cool things. We're gonna hike, we're gonna, see Hawaii, we're going to do some of that in between training and for sure it's 100% um, a good positive thing for them in their training at this time of the season. We're so March focused. You know, last year you guys went to the scuffle and the semifinal round wasn't the best round for you guys. Getting out of that, you know, where guys are just cannibalizing one another and it's just, it's so dog eat dog world in Division One wrestling. Getting out of that and taking a break from that or the Midlands, you know, that, that's another dog eat dog yeah. world tournament, you know. How good is that for you guys to maybe just kind of throw a little a bit of a change up in, into the routine as far as, you know, getting guys, not sending them to that competition and, and giving them a chance to maybe to heal their bodies a little bit? Yeah, I think overall we're pretty healthy and stuff, but there's no question um, um, it's good to just mix things up and change things from time to time. We did some different things this year. We went out to, it is important to get a tournament in, so that's why we went to Vegas this year because we wanted to try coming out here. Um, there's no doubt there's great competition at the scuffle in the Midlands and stuff, but our schedule is uh, the toughest in the country. We get to wrestle um, great guys, just being in the Big Ten alone, plus um, having some other really tough teams on our schedule that are non-conference. So, so this is perfect. Like you said, we um, get a chance to wrestle some different people. Um, um, we get to compete against non-conference guys, and um, our guys are will be ready to go. So, For guys like Fire, this is huge for seeding. 
You know, if he wrestles Taylor Meeks and beats Taylor Meeks, that's huge. You know, we're not going to see Brian Kelly. He would have had an opportunity to be to, you know, some ranked guys. But, you know, who's going to be the guy that's going to step up? you got your big four right now who are returning All-Americans, national finalists. Uh, you know, Schiller, you know, multi-time All-American. Dardane's brothers, obviously. Dylan Ness, obviously. Who else is going to step up for you guys? Yeah, yeah, like you said, you know, I want to see some of those young guys. It is a great chance, opportunity for Far here to come out and wrestle. Um, you know, it would be good to watch him wrestle Meeks and some of this other competition. He's a, a guy that's proven himself and had very, very good results, and we're, we're expecting great things out of him. It would be nice to see Jake Short come out and have a good tournament. Um, Crails at heavyweight has done a good job. Wanzak um, has showed some really good signs. All those young guys get their opportunities to come out here and do well. And so for us to be successful in March, which everyone's talking about and wanting to, you know, that's the big, the big show, no question about it. We need to see those guys step up and do some good things because it's going to take a team effort if we're going to win it. So, All right, Coach, you guys got another workout. I don't want to hold you too long. You got anything else for me? Nope, just uh, uh, thanks for coming out here and, uh, and uh, showing the showcase this thing. So we're just excited. So thanks a lot. All right, Coach, mahalo.